Hi you lot, um, it's been a while, I know, I apologise, um, I have been away for a while, um, long story, but I'm back now, um, and it's time to carry on with this Appetite for Destruction guitar, because uh, the poor customer's been waiting forever, um, so if you're watching this Clive, thanks for your patience mate, you're a star. Um, as you can see... Okay, so we're all prepped, primed, done, dusted, ready for our paintwork. Um, so, um, the way I handle this kind of artwork, it's a bit comic-y, there is a black outline around it, um, is I will draw it straight on, hence the white base coat. Um, if I'm doing like a portrait or something like that, I prefer to work on a black base, so it'll be black base coat and then I use white paint. Um, but yeah, comic style stuff, black outline, I draw it on easy as that. Um, so what I've done is I've put a template of what's going on the front. The um, the red dude on the back. He's there. He's going on the back. Uh, so we're splitting the design in half. So we're having that part on the front, that part on the back. Which is quite cool. Uh, so all we've got to worry about is the robot and the woman on the front here. So I've printed out a life-size template on a bit of A3 paper. Um, that's normally about the right sort of size for a guitar, I find. It's, it's slightly short up the top here, but that's not a problem. Um, if you don't have an A3 printer, uh, use a couple of sheets of A4. One there, one there, just stick them together. That'll do the same job. Um, be about the same sort of size. So yeah, I've, done a, I've used a bit of A3 paper. Uh, use Photoshop to change the image to black and white. Uh, cranked up the brightness and the contrast a bit and it's given me this result to highlight the black outlines a bit for me. Um, so now I'll trace that onto the guitar quite simply um, using some of this stuff. Trace down paper. Uh, this one's graphite, they do it in all sorts of colours. Um, it's basically a wax free carbon paper. Nice and simple. Uh, so, so yeah, I've I've taped this in place down the back of the guitar there. So it's because uh, of course I'm going to be taking it on and off because once we've done the design on there, I've then got to put the scratch plate back on, put this back over, and then draw the design onto the scratch plate. So tape it down there so the paper will stay in the same place every time. You don't want it moving, of course, because otherwise your design won't line up. Uh, and make yourself a reference point for getting it exactly where it was before. Uh, I like to go by the the neck recess there, just cut out the paper like that you see and then as long as the paper's tight not bulging or anything because you've got the tape there, line it up there the paper will always be in exactly the same place okay so um, so now we'll slide that trace down paper underneath and uh, and we'll trace this onto the guitar For this part, you will be needing some good music, some squash, a pencil, very important, and the most important part of it all, sweet! What one? Go on, you know you want to, go on. Go on, help yourself, go on, go on! Okay, hopefully you would have seen that, um, especially around the face area. Uh, I really added some nice browns to that. 
I think you can see that there. Especially around the nose area. Uh, highlighted up around the bottom of this eye here. Gave her a to find the cheek a lot more uh, and the chin. Um, worked on that chest area a bit. Uh, darkened up over here slightly. Um, especially this arm. This arm wasn't dark enough. So darkened that down. Um, so next we're going to use a bit of white. Um, again, I'll be using my uh, Infinity airbrush because it's great. Um, and ETAC again. So yeah, we're just going to do a couple of little highlights. Hopefully you'll be able to see these all right. on the lips? Yeah, there is a highlight on the lips, so we'll do that. tint those highlights down on the lips a little bit later because of course they're pure white so we're going with a transparent red to darken them down a bit make them a bit more red they look lovely little highlight on the neck here Be very careful at this stage though, because if you go too far, it'll end up looking horrible. You don't want a hard white showing through, it's just just highlight in the orange, really, just to make it stand out a bit more. So you can show off some raised areas. Just something like that, nothing major. Press there, and down our arm, just in the middle of that lighter area, it's a bit yellow. There you go, look, that looks lovely. Uh, now, yeah, a bit on this arm in the background here. Not a lot though. So of course it's in the background so it needs to be darker than the rest. Just a little bit like that. And a slight bit on her ribcage there. Now across her leg here in that that brighter part there. We just do a, a white line through that. Again, keep the airbrush at a distance. So you don't get a hard line. Something like that. On the kneecap. Just there. On the thigh. Across the shin of the other leg. Only a little bit though, because again it's in the background. There we go. 